It is time once again to answer 10 questions. Well, I'm ready to continue on with another 10 questions from Carl Shoup's book, Test Your Bible Knowledge. And these questions are from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is a very unique book of the Bible because it contains so much prophecy that has been fulfilled already and prophecy about events that are yet to occur. Sometimes when you read this book of the Bible, you are required to use the instructions from 2 Timothy 2.15, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Hopefully, I'll be able to rightly divide these quiz questions and earn a perfect score. Now, just like every quiz so far, there are four multiple choice answers per question, and the questions have a reference verse or verses from the Bible that can be used for further study. Okay, I'm ready to test my Bible knowledge, so I'll start with question number 711. All right, question number 711, and it is a real short quote. It says, quote, fallen is fallen, unquote, is A, Jerusalem, B, Babylon, C, Nineveh, or D, Tyre. And I am pretty sure that it is answer choice B, Babylon. So for 711, I'm going with answer choice B. All right, question number 712, and it's a quote. It says, quote, Watchman, what of the night, unquote? And the watchman replies, A, quote, make your shade like the night at the height of the noon, unquote. B, quote, the night hath dispersed like the Hivites in battle, unquote. C, quote, the Assyrians came down like a night on the fold, unquote. Or D, quote, the morning cometh and also the night, unquote. And for this one, I think that it is answer choice C. Let's see. Would that make sense? It says, Watchman, what of the night? And then the reply, the Assyrians came down like a knight on the fold. That's letter C. And that's the one about the Hivites. So I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to get rid of C altogether. The Assyrians came down. I don't think it's that. So we've eliminated B and C. That leaves A and D. Answer choice A, make your shade like the night at the height of the noon. I don't think it's that. I'm going to get rid of that one too. So I'm only left with answer choice D, and that's the one I'll go with for 712. Answer choice D, quote, the morning cometh and also the night, unquote. 713, quote, let us eat and drink for tomorrow we shall die, unquote, said those whom the Lord had a. Threatened with destruction. B. Called to weeping and to mourning. C. Sent against Assyria. Or D. Ordered to fast. And this one, I'm not sure of the answer for this one either. So I'm going to eliminate C. Sent against Assyria. I don't think that's the correct answer. And D. I'm going to throw that out. Ordered to fast. So we're left with A and B. And A seems to work here threatened with destruction. So for 713, I'm going to choose letter A, threatened with destruction. All right, 714. In, quote, howl, ye ships of Tarshish, for it is laid waste, unquote, the it is A, Jerusalem, B, Babylon, C, Nineveh, or D, Tyre. For this one, I'm pretty confident that it's letter D, Tyre. So for 714, I'm going to choose letter D, Tyre. 715. Isaiah 24 is a prophecy of A, elevation, B, excitation, C, oscillation, or D, desolation. I'm fairly certain here again that the answer choice is D, desolation. I think that Isaiah 24 is a prophecy about the tribulation period. And that would definitely be desolation. So for 715, I'm going to choose D. 716, quote, woe unto me, unquote, says the prophet, for here the A, 
quote, evil dealers have dealt evilly, unquote. B, quote, vicious dealers have dealt viciously, unquote. C, treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously, unquote. Or D, quote, unrighteous dealers have dealt unrighteously. I'm going to go right for letter C, and that's treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously for 716, the letter C. 717, quote, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, A, sentence upon sentence, unquote, B, word upon word, unquote, C, here a little and there a little, unquote, or D, morning and noon, noon and night. We can get rid of D immediately. That's not the correct one. And matter of fact, we can get rid of A and B. They're not correct. I'm going to go with letter C. Here a little and there a little for 717. 718, quote, and thy speech shall whisper out of the dust, unquote, says Isaiah to Ariel Jerusalem, before you are A, annihilated, B, abandoned, C, exiled, or D, rescued, and I'm going to go with C, exiled, because that's kind of the theme of what's going on at this time, exiled. So for 718, I'm going to choose letter C. All right, 719. Quote, in the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, unquote, there, quote, shall be upon every high mountain and upon every high hill, rivers and streams of, and then I have to provide the last word, letter A, waters, letter B, blood, letter C, detritus, or letter D, salt, and the only one that makes really good sense here is letter A, waters, and that's what I'm going to choose for 719, letter A, waters. All right, 720, the last one. In Isaiah 31, the Lord is likened to A, a band of shepherds against a lion, B, a lion against a band of shepherds, C, a lion consorting with a band of shepherds, or D, a band of shepherds leading a lion. I'm going to have to eliminate some of these. Let's see. Answer choice A, a band of shepherds against a lion. I'm not sure if it's that one. Letter B, a lion against a band of shepherds. That's the one I want to go with because it seems to make pretty good sense. C, a lion consorting with a band of shepherds. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense at all. D, a band of shepherds leading a lion. I don't think that's the right answer, a band of shepherds leading a lion. So for 720, I'm going to go with letter B, a lion against a band of shepherds. All right, that's it for that 10. So now I'm going to go to the back of the book and see which ones of these questions I was able to get correct. And I'll start with 711. The question was, it was the quote, fallen is fallen, unquote, is. And I picked letter B, Babylon, and that is the correct answer, letter B. 712 is the next one. And that question was the one, the quote was, quote, Watchman, what of the night, unquote. And I was supposed to provide the correct response. I picked letter D, quote, the morning cometh and also the night, unquote. And that is the correct answer, letter D for 712. 713, the quote was, quote, let us eat and drink for tomorrow we shall die, unquote. I picked letter A, said those whom the Lord had threatened with destruction. That's letter A. And the correct answer is letter B, called to weeping and to mourning. So for 713, I got that one incorrect. It's actually letter B. 714 is the next one. N, and then the quote is Howl, ye ships of Tarshish, for it is laid waste, unquote. The it is, I said D, Tyre, and that is the correct answer, letter D, Tyre. 715 is the next one. Isaiah 24 is a prophecy of, I went right to letter D, desolation, and that is, in fact, the correct answer, desolation. All right, 716 is the next one, and it was, quote, woe unto me, unquote, says the prophet, for here the... Then there were four quotes, and I had to pick the right one that went along with woe unto me. 
and I picked letter C. Treacherous dealers have dealt treacherously, and that is the correct answer, letter C. All right, the next one is 717. The quote was, quote, for precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, and I went right for letter C, here a little, there a little, and that is the correct answer for 717, letter C. All right, 718 is the next one, and it was the quote, quote, and thy speech shall whisper out of the dust, unquote, says Israel to Ariel, Jerusalem, before you are, and I picked letter C, exiled, and actually it is letter D, rescued. So I chose the wrong one for 718, it's actually letter D. 719 was the next one. It was kind of a long quote, and then I had to provide the last word. It was, quote, in the day of the great slaughter, when the towers fall, unquote, there, quote, shall be upon every high mountain and upon every high hill, rivers and streams of, I went right for letter A, waters, and that is the correct answer, letter A. 720, the last one. In Isaiah 31, the Lord is likened to, I picked letter B, a lion against a band of shepherds, and that is the correct answer, letter B. All right, good job. So for that one, I was able to get eight out of the 10 correct, which is my standard score. It'd be nice to get a perfect score on one of these, but eight out of 10, not too bad. Well, it's a good thing though that there is another quiz in my future, so I will get another chance to get a perfect score, and I'll continue in the book of Isaiah. I'm sure that more prophecy is headed my way. We'll just have to see.